Remember when Rockstar said, Hi, you thought and pulled a Bethesda on us by re-releasing GTA 5 for next-gen consoles? At that exact moment, at that exact time, every gamer around the world got disappointed simultaneously. And the game trailer footage didn't even look next-gen, so that's even more suspiciously disappointing. Well, we all know why they did this. For the green stuff. We money. They did it for the money. They did it so they can milk GTA Online, since it's pretty much their main source of income, and won't use that money for a new game, like Midnight Club. I would cry if I heard something from that game. And then there's the influx of multiplayer games that makes us question that single player games are dying. Hello, welcome to Applesauce. My name is Brittany, and I'm going to tell you why some of today's games are an insult to our intelligence. So, what's the deal? Why are there constant re-releases, remasters, and remakes? Why are there so many Fortnites and where is Elder Scrolls 6 Bethesda? Well, there's only one answer to all those questions. Money. Well, of course you need money to produce a game, but if you generate a well-made amount of cash through a game because of how successful it is, only to put out that same exact game out again and again and again, and it is taking advantage of their consumers to buy the same product because they know we'll buy it anyway. That statement is viable if you look at Bethesda. I mean, they are an obvious example. After Skyrim, that's when it all went downhill because after that, there were more Skyrims and we bought those Skyrims because in our heads, we thought, it's Skyrim. And in addition to that, they started producing mediocre games that had 16 times, times the detail. detail. They used the same engine since Morrowind, a game from 2002, and doesn't plan to change it. Okay, future Britney here. So, never mind what I said about the engine. It's not the engine's fault Bethesda's games are the way they are. Um, I ran across a couple articles and I saw a video. I'm seemingly convinced about this. It's not the engine's fault. It's just whatever that's going on over there at Bethesda. Check out the resources. Back to the video. They also refuse to fix bugs and practically relies on their fans to fix their games with mods without doing it themselves. Come on, Todd. 